everybody and welcome back to Naruto Ultimate Ninja guys. Oh, and it's my first time being on today. Uh, so guys, uh, we have a new ninja coming out. Um, uh, uh, I guess you guys already know. Who's that? Um, uh, he's I. Uh, he's I. Uh, I don't know. I don't know about getting him type, but he's, he's I. Uh, but we have a new ninja that's going to be coming out. Um, I'm trying to see if she is here. I don't think she is here. Mm. I do not see her. What is this? What, what is this? What the fuck is that? Oh, that's Kasami's thing, right? That's a sword. I'm pretty sure. With a giant tooth on it. Uh, increase own defense. And crit resist by 20% upon being attacked. It's actually good because um, he already gets a shit ton of defense on top of the more defense. I mean, I don't know about crit resist. I guess it's go okay um, if he's getting crit a lot. Yeah, but I mean, I think the reason you want him is for more defense, anyways. Um, so that's yeah, that's the thing. Uh, I would. I don't really want to go for this to be honest. TBH, um, and I guess, what are these, this is for the raffle tickets, right, and this is, a. will probably recharge, but just for, um, the lucky cat, really, like, really, yeah, maybe, like, the lucky cat, that's about it, because I, I don't, I already got him, and I mean, he, even though he's probably better with his weapon, I'm not rocking him right now. And there'd probably be a better way to get him. Lucky treasure is. You get the proof of tuning, okay. But you only get 25 of these? For that thing? Are you kidding me? Are they jipping us out of this? What's happening? Are you. For, for 100. Really? Wow, we, we really get jipped with this, huh? Oh, they hate us. I mean, that's pretty good. I mean, that's... they should That should just be with that. I, I don't... Wow. Um, and pretty much all this is garbage, I, I guess, unless you wanted this. This is actually pretty decent. And this is okay. I don't know why you want talent points at this point. Um, yeah, that, that seems pretty off. Let me grab all my stuff. Uh, I mean, this week I did the um, the squad arena with Benny, and of course, because Naruto doesn't have the right time for anything, <laughs> it, it didn't end at the time it said it was supposed to. So screwed over, like usual. Doesn't yeah, you know, doesn't get old at, at all in this game. Sweet. It says it ends at twelve. It actually ends at one. Sweet game. So now, like I'm screwed out of that, out of that. Um, the person that added in new, let's just look at the maintenance real quick. Now, I wanted to bring it here to the maintenance, fix it right there because it's it was hanging off the screen a little bit. Okay, uh, I wanted to bring it to the maintenance because, um, I just wanted to see if there's anything else I missed with it. So, um, right here you got the, uh, added the Hinata Summer Fest. I already seen it yesterday. I didn't go over it because I thought it was going to come out today and I was wrong. So, nailed it. Um. Added the gate of the death guy, the eighth gate. The eighth gate? He has eight gates? Okay, we'll take a look at that. Uh, optimized squad arena. Added new summer drinks. What? We were getting drinks? Is this some kind of like thing I wasn't? Okay. Um, the rush function is more intelligent. It is. I actually seen it. It's really intelligent. Added the six out of the eight gate of Kaguya's will. Didn't didn't she have eight gates already? I have her eight gates. What? What? Uh, okay. Okay. Um, added exclusive ninja tool for the Naruto fourth. And. Uchiha Shinsui? Did they, didn't, didn't they already have- What the fuck maintenance is this? Didn't they already have theirs? Yeah, cause I seen his in the box. What the fuck? Okay, 
added index system and added the Chinese New Year interface. Okay, let's look at some of the stuff, I guess. Okay, so I, I don't, uh, I, I don't know. I mean, Naruto Four Tails. You already guys already know how I feel about him, so I, I, I don't, I don't think a weapon's gonna make him great. I, I, I don't know. Um, Kaguya's will. Um, I already have her entire thing. Is this game messing with me? All right. It said they added in the thing for the gate of the death guy. So let's check him out. Um, does he actually have eight gates? No, he has six. They lied to me. Yeah, normal thing. All right, cool. Uh, all right. So gate of the death guy is already amazing. Uh, his kid. It's not like inherently powerful, super duper top end stuff, but it's pretty amazing. So let's go ahead and see how they make it better. So that way we can see that and then we'll you know go you know what let's go over Hinata first so I want to go over Hinata just so you get her I can get her out of the way let's just go check her out first and then we'll go to gate death guy okay so Hinata she's a potential 17 like normal uh, she is a skill uh, I guess nah, they they already had a skill for her didn't they yeah they had a skill and a defense I thought they'd make attacker for her all right she is skill uh, wind curse to seal core, whatever that means. Uh, let's see. Can you... mm -hmm. 100. Okay. Okay, normal stuff. Okay. I don't see anything super impressive. Okay, so Gentle Fist Summer summer Wander is her skill. Deals 160% plus 35 points of damage to a single enemy unit. Increasing own and any friendly ninja chakra by 200 points. Restores own max HP by 15%, and there is a 30% chance to freeze the target. Okay, so freezing is actually pretty cool. Um, it's a low. It's only 30%, which is is not great. It's it's on a little bit on the low end. 40% is usually standard for something, but 30% isn't so bad. It's just a little bit on the low end. 160% uh, damage is pretty normal. A little bit on the low end also I mean restoring chakra for her and her teammates 200 if she has the same gate as Mizukage it's better because then you're getting more chakra for yourself upon the chakra you're already starting with and getting your whole ability with so if she has the same thing better but as far as her kit going, I mean, max HP at 15%, that's decent, but they people do a lot of damage right now, so I don't think 15% is that, really that amazing. Um, it's, it's just, I guess, that little bit that you get for it. Maybe her also will have more, which will make it better, so let's see. Uh, Summer Tornado. Okay. Deals 300%. That's actually pretty decent. Uh, to a single to, to points to three random enemy targets. Okay, that's actually really good for three random enemies Okay, um, and there is a hundred percent chance to guarantee ultimate skill in the next turn after casting Ogi Don't know what that means And the next turn after cast I'm get I don't know Don't know I'm guessing a hoagie Ogi's probably a hidden stat somewhere uh, Increase own crit rate by 40% Okay, that's not bad. 40%. Reduces the target's rage by 200 points. Definitely, so that's really good actually. Uh, when casting ultimate skill, it increases every friendly unit ultra resist, ultimate resist by 8%. Each one curse seal increases effect by 6% up to 36%. Okay. So everyone gets 8%. Hmm, 8% isn't a big number, especially how much damage, like, ultimates do to you. I mean, you know, like, if you, if, if Tsunade has, like, 400 and, what, 12%, she hits you less, 8, less percent, 400 and, yeah, it's still gonna kill you. I don't know if 8% every... I mean, maybe this will be... Better? 
But like, you'd have to have an entire same team of win curse deals to get 36%, because 36% is a pretty decent number. It's pretty good, but I mean, you'd have to have a whole the whole team of win curse deal. Um, Byakugan, Byaku. Why does it look so weird on my computer all the time? Yeah, Byakugan Ultimate Ogi. Oh, it's in the name now. Okay. Increases own attack by 8%. Your own defense by 8%. Upon deployment, increases own chakra restore rate by 10%. It's not bad. It's just a passive thing, so it honestly always happens. Each casting of ultimate skill or Ogi. See? Or Ogi. So it's either one. Ogi couldn't be the normal skill. And it couldn't be ultimate. I don't know what the fuck Ogi is. Each casting of ultimate skill or Ogi increases Hinata Summerfest's own ultimate damage or Ogi damage by 8% stackable. Okay. Uh, if there are four or more wind curse seal on the friendly side, then it increases the crit resist of all friendly units by 45% for two turns, which is a big number. It additionally increases your own chakra or restore speed by 40% and other ninjas increase chakra or restore speed by 25% now that's all good okay that she can combo well with wind curse seals my problem that I'm having with this is that it doesn't do anything inherently special 8% attack is Lackluster, same thing for defense, 8%. Increases the 10% of chakra speed, which I mean is good, along with the other chakra she's getting from her kit. And let me see, is she, a, is she the same thing as Zukage? Yeah, okay, okay, so she'll start off with her ultimate, so that's good. But the problem is her kit doesn't do anything inherently special to make it so that using her would be beneficial like unless you have your whole team with the wind curse, curse seal which is very rare that it even happens and making it so that your team has to have the entire curse seal the same thing is kind of annoying to me because I never felt like anyone ever went necessarily to that so it's kind of like it's just very lackluster like very on the low side like very just there's a word I'm looking for it's somewhere in there it's very low though it's not you're not gonna get anything special for this you're not gonna it's not gonna be inherently amazing you know it's just gonna be there kind of um, I don't I don't really know it's not anything like I said it's not anything special I don't see any special numbers or, and I, like it just seems like she's gonna be very lackluster like even if you get like 45% is good but you have to have every four or more wind curse seals uh, and uh, the chakra speed by 40% own chakra restore and ninja increased chakra restore speed by 25% which I guess that's I don't know. Uh, I guess that's decent. I guess it would be how many times she actually ultimates, and I, I like she's not even here in the game to see if she's gonna like have any, you know, how much she's going to own. But I mean, she just sounds like Mizukage if Mizukage was a little worse. Like, like Mizukage already gives your team the crazy amount of restore speed, um, amount with the CC that she does. And then she just got freeze target for 30%. So I don't think she's going to be an inherently amazing. Um, maybe like maybe her eight gates will make her better. Uh, it wouldn't be the first time that the eight gates made her better. Or that made eight gates made someone better. So I, I guess we'll see how uh, the eight gates does. But right now, not feeling it. Uh, not, not feeling it. Okay, here's your stats. Um, I mean, her crit hit, hit rate is actually not too bad, 30, 13%. And then, like, combined with the 40 she gets on our Ogi, whatever the fuck Ogi is. And then crit hit damage bonus, 15%, still not too bad. Damage bonus and damage reduction. 
I, I don't know. I, I have to see her, but right now it does not sound amazing. The best thing I can say is that she probably has alting first round and lowering your chakra. So, yeah, that bad stuff. Other than that, uh, I'm going to go for this. Uh, I'm going to wait. Well, not wait a little bit, but I'm going to, you know, hit it when I get off here. But uh, let's go check out Gay the Death Guy because um, I have high hopes for him. Hmm. Okay. We'll do like we normally do. Read, read the left side, right side. And then, yeah, like that. Increase the attack by 14.7%. Uh, defense by 9.7%. During the employment, increases the own damage rate by 18%. The lower the HP you have, the higher the boost rate, up until up to 40%. If there are four, if there are four types of seals existing, wind, forest, fire, mountain. Uh, then additionally increases control immunity of every friendly unit by 25%, damage is by 25%, crit is by 30%. Okay. So this one, increase the attack, uh, nothing doesn't go up there. Um, during the deployment, increases the own damage rate by 25%. The lower the HP, the higher the higher the boost rate up to 50%, but I guess it's a little better. Um, uh, there are four types of, I mean, the seals I don't really care about because they're not really going to do much unless you have all of them. 35% damage resist by 20%, which is decent. Ultimate resist, ultimate resist by 50, or, uh, 30%. Okay. Only effective in the first two turns. It's not bad. I thought this was going to go up, but... I mean, this went up, so... Okay. That's decent. I'm not going to say it's great because it's... Kinda not. Uh, deals 177.05% plus 1,680 points of damage to a single enemy unit, increasing own crit rate by 25% for two turns, dealing heavy damage to the target, reduces the heal rate by 80% and rage by 150, then transferring 30% of its damage to its own HP. Okay. Deals 197.05%, which is a little bit more plus 1,680 points of damage to a single enemy unit, increasing on crit rate by 35%, which is more. Dealing a heavy damage to reduces by 80% and 150, so that did not really, I mean, what, 50 extra? Uh, no, not even that. Okay. Uh, points of reducing damage is by 10%, damage rate by 10%, and then transferring 30%. So far, not sounding great. Doesn't seem like anything there is really impressive. Um, crit rate a little bit more and then damage resist and damage rate by 10%. Which it, I guess is okay. Not anything super impressive right now. Um, okay. Deals 407.05% uh, plus 2,304 points of damage to a single enemy unit. There is a 40% chance to render the target to fall into dark into weakness status. And there is a 15% chance to reduce the target's defense by 65%. Lasts for one turn when casting Ogi and the following Cursed Seal Ninja exists. The following buff will be triggered. Wind Seal uh, Rage by 2200 points. Forest Seal Increase Attack by 12%. Mountain Seal Defense by 12%. Fire Seal Increase Life Seal by 12%. If the target is successfully eliminated, then restores 500 points of Rage while increasing the own break rate right, by 100%. Okay. Does more damage. Decent amount, decent amount for for uh, four hundred forty seven point zero five percent of damage to a single enemy unit. There is a fifty five percent chance to render to fall into darkness status, so that is about a little bit more than half, a little bit more half. That's good. That's a pretty good uh, effect there. Uh, and there is a fifteen percent chance to reduce the target's defense by eighty five percent. That's pretty good, but it's still fifteen percent chance, so you have more of a chance to put him in weakness status. But it's still good because you could. This is gonna proc at some point, so weakening their defense by 85% is still crucial. When casting Ogi, the following uh, we don't know what Ogi is. Uh, the following buff will be triggered. Uh, 240 points, uh, 15 uh, attack, Mountain Seal, 15 defense, uh, Fire Seal, 15 uh, life steal. If the target is successfully eliminated, then restores 1,000 points of rage. Okay, that's so like Sunide. That's pretty good, pretty good. While increasing own break rate by 100%. One turn, if all four of your of the curse deals are on your side, are on your side, increase own ultimate damage by 45%. The rest of the ninja increase ultimate damage by 20%. There you go. That's the kind of things that I was looking for. That's pretty good. Um, 
Having his ultimate do 45% more damage will bring him up to about 500, which is probably the most in the game. But you have to have all the seals on your team. In order to make that work, you still have to break through defense because he doesn't really take anything from you besides the 10% damage resist and 10% um, thing. 10% damage resist and 10% um, damage rate. So you'll be doing less damage. I mean, you'll be doing more damage to them, but you'll still have to break through all their defense unless you get this off. If you get this, if you get this off, they instantly die. If you get this, they're useless for the next, I don't know, two turns or something like that. So that's pretty good. But you have to have all four seals to do it. So which is still like, mm, you know what I'm saying? Break rate by 100%. That means you, you I, I don't know what, what break rate really is. I guess you break into defen their defense block. I, I don't know what that is. No idea. Um, then restores one point, one thousand points of race. So if you kill them, you will get your ultimate back immediately. The chances of them surviving this amount of damage, pretty low. They're probably going to die unless you're a defense person. If you're a defense person, you live this. If you're a damage person, skill person, you are dead AF. Dead AF. So, but it's good. It's a good effect, but. The, the problem is that this is the only good part of his kit, which is his ultimate. Like, granted, he's pretty good and it sounds all great, but the problem is that Tsunade does the same thing, just better because she steals stuff from you. So the more times that she hits you, the stronger she's getting and the weaker you're getting. Not to say that he's bad because he's not bad. Not saying that, but he is just a little bit less than her. Because remember, he can still put you in weakness status. And he still has a 15% chance to, to take this, and you're dealing all the damage. The hard part I'm getting is that this stuff right here barely moved. Maybe 3%, I think, with most of the stuff. And you have to have all of them in order to get this. So... I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. Like I said, if you already have it, and you have all of the seals, you could rock them. You could. There probably is a combo in there that you can rock them with. So, I'm not saying that he's bad. I'm not sure if it's all worth it, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not sure if it's all worth it. I mean, if you have, like, increasing your friendly ultimate damage by 20% is actually really good for one turn. And increasing yours by 45% is, is amazing. Like, those two are just... Mwah. Those two are... Mwah. But you have to have all four core seals in order to have it. So... Not sure. Like I said, you already got them and you're going to put them in your team and you got the seals. I think it's going to benefit you a lot. But remember, you got to get his weapons and stuff, so... But... He, he, he'll... I think he'll be good. I think he'll be good. Right now, I haven't seen anything inherently amazing about him. I haven't seen him do crazy good. I haven't seen him do anything super amazing. But then again, it's the beginning. No one really has him maxed out like that. So, you know, but yeah, I think that's pretty good. I think the rest of his kit is doo-doo until he get his, eight, his, his six gates and then he'll be good. But I think before then, I don't think, I, I don't see why you would have him. Like... It just, it, it seems like he would just be a single burst damage, and that would be that. Like, kind of like Tsunade does. But Tsunade just steals stuff from you, so it's easier for the cur to fucking smack your face in. So. So, the fact that it makes it easier for her to destroy your butthole, um, makes it so that she would probably be the better pick. But, again, I can't, I don't have enough data in order to say whether he's amazing or whether he's bad. Because his weakness status is still amazing and stealing 65% is still amazing. I just need to see how more high get level gameplay until I place him into a place where I feel that he would belong. Um, you can't really say as soon as someone comes out that they're the best person in the game uh, until you see more data. You could assume it, be like, I think he might be the per best person in the game, but you could never say it until you have more data. Like, it was the same thing with Sasuke, like Curseal. I said that I think he might be the number one in the game. But I didn't truly understand that 
until I got more data. Then when I got more data, he was 100% the best person in the game. Like, hands down. So, that's how I feel right now. But like I said, his, his kit's just good. I, I don't know if it, before the six gates, definitely not great though. But yeah, guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed though. Uh, when Hinata comes out, I'll get you for her. I, I'm not sure when she's gonna come out to be honest, cause um, I, I to be honest, I thought she would be be here through the limited reward pool, but we got we don't have her. We have we have Ambu Kakashi, and I'm not, I'm not sure if they're gonna do like a reward pool after a reward pool so she might be consumption rewards which those are more likely to consumption rewards are more likely to get her depending on your own goal rather than you know rather than you spending money in order to recharge for the limited reward pool so i don't know yet how i feel about it but yeah guys though i hope you enjoyed i'm gonna go recharge and get this fucking lucky cat and then um but yeah but yeah guys i'll catch you in the next one all right guys i love you and i'll catch you in the next one peace